pain. Day. Every. Day. You are watching Payday Every Day with Prophetess Beverly the Blue Angel. Welcome everybody to this segment of Payday Every Day. I will be showing you in this segment how you can get favor, how you can be rewarded every single day. Imagine that, a life where you get paid on the daily. Every single day is a payday. Every single day you are rewarded. Your life is full of favor. I want you right now to grab a pen. I need you to find a notebook, call somebody, text somebody on WhatsApp and tell them to tune into this program right now. I'm going to be coming back shortly after this break and I will be showing you some beautiful things about how God can reward your life. Wonderful, amazing things. This segment is going to blow your mind and you're going to enjoy it. So I need you to quickly find somebody that you are going to uh, introduce to this program as well. We are living on a mountaintop perspective and I want you to join me on that mountaintop perspective. So grab your pen and remember, call somebody and tell them it's payday every day right now. I'll be back right after this. Core 100 with BB Angel. An exclusive mentorship program for ladies from all walks of life who have one thing in common, a desire to grow in their knowledge of Jesus. Register at www.bbangel.org. Welcome back everybody to this segment of Payday Every Day. I hope and trust that you are ready to delve into what we're going to be doing today and the kingdom principle that I'm going to be showing you today. Breaking rest. Breaking rest. And imagine, payday every day. Isn't that a wonderful thing? It's a marvelous thing. Imagine, you have favor on a daily basis. You have rewards on a daily basis. You are paid on a daily basis. Favor is following you on a daily basis. It's a marvelous thing. It's a lifestyle that we are looking at from a mountaintop perspective. And this principle, breaking rest, breaking rest is all about getting stuck into what you need to do. And this is what I'm gonna be talking about because have you ever noticed how some people can be so lazy, so lazy, they just want to rest all the time. Every single day is a rest day. God himself only rested when he saw that everything was good. He had to create the world. Six days it took him. And then he rested on the seventh day only after he had put the work in. But have you ever noticed that there are people who just want to rest? You just want to rest. And you see, I have my own definition for laziness. People who are lazy, you just want to rest. Oh, I'm tired. They'll sit back on the couch. They don't even want to move. They are actually uh, called uh, 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 potato uh, uh, potatoes on a couch. Uh, that's uh, just a joke that people say that uh, you become a couch potato. And so they don't want to work. But I have my own definition for people who are lazy or laziness itself. My own personal definition. Laziness. I want you to catch this. Laziness is the unnecessary urge to rest when your body is not even tired. You feel the urge to want to rest. What is it that you've done? You spend the whole day relaxed on your settee, relaxed on your sofa, but somehow you feel that urge that, oh, I, I just need to, to, to rest. Let me repeat the definition once more. Laziness, remember, this is my own definition. Laziness is the unnecessary urge. You know when your body has an urge, when you have a need to rest, and yet the body is not even tired. The body itself is not even tired, but there is an urge to want to rest. So today I am showing you about breaking rest. I'm telling you how you can break this rest. We have people who have really made it in this world. And I know you know them just like I do. We have people who've done it in this life. We have celebrities who've done it. We have businessmen who've done it. We have philanthropists who have done it. People who have made it in this life. And one thing that I've noticed, and I want you to catch this, one thing that I've noticed with any successful person, it doesn't matter whether they're from Africa, it doesn't matter whether they're from uh, America, from England, it doesn't matter where they are situated. The one thing that I have noticed with people who have made it, people who are living on a mountaintop perspective, these people know how to work hard. I have studied these things. I have studied them. 
and I have met so many of them in my travels uh, with my husband we've been afforded the privilege to travel around the world we've met kings and queens in this world from celebrities to businessmen, to kings, to presidents, prime ministers. We've uh, had the opportunity to meet the Rothschilds. This is one of the richest families in the world. And this is something uh, that I really want to show you uh, through what I'm going to be talking about today, breaking rest. It's all about breaking rest. You see, the one thing about these people, let me show you. The one thing about these people is they know that I am not going to rest until I get what I want done. That's the one thing successful people do. We have a person like Aliko Dangote, for example, and I know that is such a popular name, a household name. He is one of the richest people in the world. Whenever rich people are talked about, his name is always put in there. Very successful man, a self-made billionaire. And he's so successful. And one time he was asked in an interview, very interesting, while I was studying and uh, checking these things out, I saw in one of the interviews that he had that he said, I work 18 hours a day. I don't rest. I work 18 hours. And re remember, a day only has 24 hours. Now imagine how much time is this person spending to rest? How much time does he get to rest? Remember, 24 hours and someone has an 18 hour week. And I also read somewhere uh, a, a very interesting caption that I saw uh, somewhere and it read um, the people who work 90 hour weeks do that because they don't want to work 40 hour weeks. They don't want to do the nine to five. Like most believers, some of you are watching me right now and you are going through the motions. You are in the rat race right now. Well, this is a principle that I'm talking to you about right now that is so important. If you catch it, it will change your life forever. Remember, this is payday every day. You want to get paid every day. You want favor to follow you every day. You want to be rewarded every day. Then break rest. It's all about breaking rest. If you want to live a marvelous life, a life that is beautiful, a life that is stress-free, a life that you don't have to think about the next dollar. Where is the next dollar going to come from? Living from hand to mouth, from paycheck to paycheck. There is a way that these things can be done. And this is something that I hope you are really taking because this is a kingdom principle that is so important. Get up and get working, you see. And this is something that is in the word of God itself. I like how the book of Proverbs puts it across because the book of Proverbs uh, says in chapter 24, it simply says a little sleep. You know that verse, right? A little slumber and poverty will come into your house and grab you, your hands, your legs, your entire body. Poverty will catch you. It will grab you. It will annihilate you. That is exactly what poverty will do. If you want to rest a little bit, if you want, oh, now I just need to rest a little bit. And it's, and the Bible says like a thief, that's how poverty will come. It's like a thief before you even know what's happening just because you decided to be a couch potato. And some people are thinking, oh, but I'm not like that. I don't sit on a couch every day. I'm trying. I go, go to my job and I've worked my six hours a day. Remember, I said people who have made it are working 18 hour shifts here. And look, Aliko Dankode is like very wealthy, multi-billionaire, but he's working 18 hours. How then? Can some of you who are watching me right now afford to work a six hour day? Six hours, five hours is the most you can take. How does that happen? And yet someone who is successful, someone who's already made it, is working 18 hours. Come on somebody, I need you right now to tell yourself, encourage yourself. I need to now do things in a different way. From now onwards, I'm going to break this cycle of too much rest. Too much resting. I'm going to break this cycle. From now onwards, I am going to work as hard as I can in order to make it. Nothing comes easy. Nothing comes easy. And I like what Isaiah says in the first chapter. Uh, he says, uh, and that's verse 17. He says, learn to do well. Listen to this. Learn to do well. Learn to do well. How is it that I do well? Okay, I need to learn. What is it that I can do to make sure my life is fruitful, to make sure my life is full of rewards? Learn to do well. So right now, someone is here and you're watching this program right now and you have a 12-hour day of laziness. The 12-hour uh, shift that some are doing or 18 hours, uh, it's more of 
a lazy day rather than a productive day. Learn to do well. Find the computer, do a little bit of research, make a few phone calls and get to working. Everything that you are going to do by the work of your hands, it will be blessed. As you work, God is complimenting you at your workplace. As you work, even 12 hours of work is actually laziness. If you look at it, a 12 hour shift is actually laziness. Because if I am told by a multi-billionaire like Aliko Dangote that I'm working 18 hours a day, then my 12 hours is not enough. As long as my bank account is not showing some very positive vibes, then 12 hours is a definite no-no. So I'm talking to somebody right now who is watching and you're thinking, oh, but uh, I, I try my best and uh, I'm not working right now, uh, but uh, soon uh, things will work out. Uh, maybe it's your economy. Maybe it's things that are not happening, maybe in your country or wherever you are. But listen, the principle remains. If you don't work, you will not eat. It's a simple principle. I like what Apostle Paul said in the book of Thessalon Thessalonians. He said, if someone is not working, withdraw from them. If you have a friend who is not working, the Bible says withdraw from that friend. The friendship can no longer exist. And listen, that's Apostle Paul. If you have something against it, don't mark me. You have to mark Apostle Paul. That's in the word, in the second book of uh, Thessalonians. If someone is not working, number one, withdraw from them. Number two, they should not eat. You can love them, but no, you have to withdraw from them. So I want you to Stay with me on this program. We're going to go on a short break, but I want you to stay with me. We're coming back with more on this uh, principle of breaking rest. We are coming back with more. So keep it locked. And remember, it's payday every day. A life of rewards. A life of favor. Stay with me. Core 100 with BB Angel an exclusive mentorship program for ladies from all walks of life who have one thing in common, a desire to grow in their knowledge of Jesus. Register at www.bbangel.org. I know you are enjoying the program. I wanna show you something. There are people who are watching me right now who are thinking, I have some reasons in my, in, my, in, in my head that are happening right now, but this person does not understand the reasons. Listen, I've mentored millionaires personally. People I have mentored, and I'm talking about self-made millionaires here. I'm not talking about people who inherited from their father or their mother, grandmother or uncle somewhere. No, I'm talking about self-made millionaires. People who started from rock bottom and built their way up to their millions. Now these principles, these kingdom nuggets, will ensure that you get paid on a daily basis and you will find favor on a daily basis. Now listen to me. Someone is watching and thinking, but my government, you don't understand. My government prevents me from doing what I want to do. My government is not really working out. Oh, my country is not, uh, is not working out well with the government. That is just an excuse. Why? Because there are people who are living in the same country who are making it. Whichever country it is, there are third world countries that are in serious problems with their governments, but there are millionaires there. You will even be shocked that those countries have such people living in them. You find the best uh, uh, makes of Rolls Royce or you find a Mercedes Benz somewhere in the countries that you would think nothing should come out of them. And these are, I'm talking about things that are not happening without fraud. I'm not talking about fraud here. I'm talking about people who are genuinely making it in countries where the governments are not okay, where even the economy is not the best, but these people are making it anyway. If you keep giving excuses, you will never be excused. You keep giving excuses, oh, it's because of this. Oh, now uh, you don't understand. Um, uh, when I was growing up, my, my teacher uh, uh, said this to me. Listen, Richard Branson is a, a school dropout and look at him. He's also a billionaire, self-made billionaire. I, the list goes on. There are so many of them, people who've dropped out of uh, education and still made it. And there is really no excuse because look at this day and age. Look at the times we're living in. The presence of internet is everywhere. I mean, literally, just a little phone, a little handset gives you access to the whole world just from a phone. You can, you can research things on the internet and that's government-less. There is no government involved in, the, in you searching things. Governmentless is my own word. Uh, and, I, and I think when you have money, you can create your own words, right? And uh, listen, 
I, I know what it means to work. I'm not going to come here and be a hypocrite and tell you things that I know I'm not doing myself. My husband and I have several companies and we have what we call a zero hour contract. And in that type of working environment, I'm talking about working till early hours of the morning. We can work up to 3 a.m. from whatever, 4 a.m. It doesn't make a difference. But when the rewards come in, we can also afford to rest. We can go on a seven day and the offices are closed. Why? Because we are resting. We have made what we want to make. We have done what we wanted to do. We've reached our targets. So we can afford to rest a zero hour contract. Wouldn't you want to live a life where you don't even have to worry or stress about how many groceries you're putting in a trolley? I know some of you go to the grocery store with a calculator and you're calculating on your phone. And the phone calculator has been used so much. It's the most used app on your phone. Because every time you go out, you're busy calculating, okay, how much is this going to cost? And then I take this away and then I add this little bit and then I'm going to take this little bit away as well. You see, it's always calculating, calculating. In the world with internet available, on phones, not having a business, it's an error. It's a serious error. It's an error. It's just laziness. Remember, you are breaking rest. Not in this day and age. You have internet. You can call China. Your WhatsApp can send messages. And the best part about most companies now is they're actually including a WhatsApp number on their website. Even top companies will have a WhatsApp number as well. There really aren't any excuses. If you look at it, zero excuses. There's nothing. I understand some countries, yes, they have restrictions to, the, to internet use. You are restricted a little bit. But listen, whatever time you can afford to look into these things, to research a little bit, get to know a few things, do it. And if there's no internet, get walking. Let's get on the ground. Get to knocking on some doors. Introduce yourself into different, different corporations, different companies. It's all about breaking rest. Remember, what you are after is getting paid every single day. It's payday every day. That's what you are after. And laziness is one of the biggest problems when it comes to people who are watching me right now. And I know some of you are already giving a lot of excuses. Oh, I've tried and I've done this. I've also tried this. Listen, that drink seven up. It used to be one up. And then the person went to two up, three up. And the person gave up when he got to six up, sold it to someone, sold the idea to someone who then thought, okay, I'll just make it seven up. And imagine everybody right now knows seven up, you see. And so this person tried and tried and tried again. Uh, and then eventually gave up until someone else took it over with a renewed energy and they made it happen. There is no way that you can make things happen if you are going to be a couch potato, if you're gonna be somebody who's lazy, somebody who gives excuses. I'm already working, I'm already doing this. I already work from uh, eight till five. I've got no time to do anything. Listen, when it's bedtime in your country, trust me, another country is awake. Another country is alive <laughs> and they are awake and it's their working day while you are asleep. So somewhere in this world, somehow, someone is ready to do business with you. It doesn't matter what time of day it is. Somebody is ready. All it takes is diligence. All it takes is you getting into it, getting into the zone of working and removing this issue of rest, breaking this cycle of rest and then living a life that is showing that you are a written epistle indeed because at the end of the day you are supposed to show christ in you right now you are supposed to show christ in you not just by the way you speak in tongues not by the way you worship not by the church you attend you are supposed to show christ as a lifestyle in you your whole being should be showing off christ when you walk people should see christ when you talk people should see christ everything you wear should show christ in it everything you are is Christ. Everything is beautiful and amazing because it's showing off Christ. So right now, I need you to get up. Go online right now. And I want you to listen carefully because I'm about to go. I need you to get up right now. Go online and I need you to call your friend. Start a business. Don't be lazy. Call your friend. What is it that we can do? I've just been watching a program payday every day and I, I feel there's something that I can still do. There's something that can be done. I need you to do that right now. I love you guys so, so much. And make sure you watch Payday every day. This is a beautiful segment and I need you to watch it all the time. 
I need you to keep it locked on payday every day. And uh, this is a segment uh, that I am bringing to you. And this is something that is going to ensure rewards. There are going to be more segments coming up for payday every day. So keep an eye out for this segment because these are principles that we're taking from the word kingdom principles that are proven. We have tried them. We have tested them. So they will definitely work for you. When you are equipped to be paid every day, things become easy for you. Things become doable for you. So right now, I need you to look out for this program. You are loved. We love you so much. And I have enjoyed this segment with you guys. And I'm looking forward to seeing you again next time on Payday Every Day. Goodbye. Good news Core 100 with BB Angel. An exclusive mentorship program for ladies from all walks of life who have one thing in common, a desire to grow in their knowledge of Jesus. Register at www.bbangel.org. Thank you, our partners and friends, for making it possible to bring this message to you. Those wishing to partner with BB Angel, visit www.bbangel.org.